Arnie, 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 Arnie. How many times do we get to see each other today? Uh, just coming out of conference, I felt we had a really good conference. You watched last night, uh, passing the rule to take up four more appropriation bills. If we get those done, hopefully we get those done by Thursday. That'd be 73% of all the discretionary spending. Uh, I talked to my conference today, I think, to get the next five, we're going to need more time. So we will pass a continuing resolution, bring that rule up hopefully on Friday that uh, would keep government open, but at the same time deal with the border. I, I know some of you worked late last night, thank you for following us, but if you paid attention to what happened on the border last yesterday, 11,000 people came across illegally. That's 50,000 just in the last five days. And you've got the governor of New York, you've got the governor of Massachusetts declaring a state of emergency. Now, the president can take action the president could do something here that would really help us be able to keep government open at the same time secure our borders. And I think that's what he's hearing from a lot of Democratic leaders across this nation and also here in Congress. With that, take questions. What specifically do you want Biden to do? Well, a number of different things. He should finish where the wall is at. He should have remained in Mexico. He's got the Title 42 as well to be able to secure the border and stop moving everybody across illegally. You if the Senate's plan a non-starter in the House. I, I don't see the support in the House. You said in there you would not do it, you told McConnell you wouldn't do anything on Ukraine without border. Look, I don't see, yeah. Does I'm that mean if, you, if there was border stuff in there, you'd consider Ukraine, or how do, you, how do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it, especially when you're looking at America, so 50,000 people in the last five days, we watch this time and again. Massachusetts, a state of emergency. New York has become the number one issue. Another, and we're going to ignore that? I think if you want to walk and chew gum at the same time, you've got to deal with the issues before you. I want to deal with disaster, but I want to also deal with the border. Where are you getting the votes on the TR? The, the people in Congress, they, they have the right to vote. So, that, so that's where we would find. Okay, so I would first go to the people in Congress have a right to vote, and I'd find 218 of them. Do you have that? They came out of the, out of the conference saying they would still I don't understand where somebody um, would want to stand with President Biden on keeping an open border and not keep government open. When you look at wh how it funds government, it also puts in HR2 um, that would secure our border. And I think that would be very important to the rest of the nation. So I mean, Democrats have the opportunity to vote for it as well. Have you had an opportunity to, re has the White House reached out to you? Have you spoken to the White House? Is, is that necessary? Do you need to meet with the president in order to resolve this before look, Sunday? Look, I look at President Biden. Think about what America looks like now that President Biden has come into office. We've got a wide open border. We've got people picketing in Michigan that is going to put more cost into cars. And why are they picketing? Because his policies subsidize electric cars that are taking hit their jobs away. We've got in Hollywood five months of picketing. We've got five embassies, American embassies in other countries that had to be evacuated. Based upon his, dis his missteps in Afghanistan, we now have allies turning towards China. We now have something we haven't seen since the 30s, the creation of the axis of powers as North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran bounding together. They feel that there's strength in the world against us. All this chaos is based upon his foreign policy, his immigration policy. He's got people in his own party now, states declaring states of emergency. I think if you were the leader of the free world, if you were the president of the United States, do you hide? I would lean into it. I would welcome a meeting with the president on how to secure the border. I have asked for that from the day I took office. Let's deal with the border. And we've watched just in the last five days, 50,000 people come across. 50,000 in five days. We watch it become the number one issue. We watch not just that, but fentanyl continuing to grow and killing Americans. Do you want to just ignore that? We watched our border agents come back bloody. We watched cartels on the other side of the border become wealthy and more aggressive. We watched the human trafficking continue to expand. I wouldn't ignore these problems. Just going and joining a picket line that you created doesn't solve the problem by having a photo op. Why don't you sit down in a meeting why aren't you serious about making sure government doesn't shut down? The first thing I would do, I would sit down with them. I'm, I want to sit down with the president to secure that border. So. Go ahead. 
What would they do with the president to solve your current problem of trying to pass a CR? Well, it's, it's not my current problem. Yeah. It's America's problem. Well, but no, it's, it's the House's responsibility to fund the government, right? Well, okay, let's compare that. How many bills has the Senate passed? How many appropriation bills has the Senate passed? They're working on a CR. How, how many? many it's, it's not a tough question. You ask me questions every day. Name me one. Name me one appropriation out of the twelve appropriation bills the Senate has passed this year. So the so Senate has not passed any. Okay. And what does the House do? They're working on five bills. Seventy-three percent. Okay. They're not, they're, okay. They're not going to fund the government, though. I'm sorry. What does appropriation bill do? After September 30th. What does an appropriation bill do? How many appropriation bills does it take to fund government? 12. The Senate has passed zero. So the House is working on appropriations up. bills, the government will shut down. Let me answer your questions, but first let's get the facts right. Your, que your, your first question was, and I answered it, the Senate has done nothing. The Senate has not done one thing when it comes to appropriations. Is that different than we have in the past? Okay. No, normally the Senate doesn't even bring them up in committee. So the Senate's done nothing. The House is working on passing 73% of all the appropriation bills of the job we're supposed to do by Thursday. We're bringing up on Friday ability to fund the government, but at the same time secure our border. So yes, we're doing our job. So what does the president have to do with that? If he wants to sit and hide in the White House and put government into a shutdown, that's on him. But that's the wrong thing to do. I like to see anything out there. If it's a challenge, I want to solve the problem. If you look at when you're sitting with the Senate doing too, we have the FAA to deal with. That goes away on September 30th. Has the Senate passed an FAA bill? No, they have not. When we look at a challenge on the border, have they passed any bill themselves? They're a different body. On something to deal with the border, even though the leader from the Senate comes from New York and his governor and mayor are craving for something to be done, no, they've done nothing on it. Because had they passed a bill, the House has passed a bill, we could go to conference and solve that. So why am I asked the President to sit down? Because the Senate has not done their job, the Senate has not taken up the House um, work, so no, the president should step in and do something about it. Otherwise, government will shut down, just like we're having strikes in Michigan, just like we had the five-month strike in California, just like we have embassies that are having to be evacuated around the world. That's a lack of leadership. So show some leadership. This is your policies. This wasn't a policy that was passed from the House and Senate that opened up this border. It was simply your decision, and you could do something to change it. It would keep government open while we finish the job, and hopefully the Senate can get around to appropriation bills. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.